The propane began to evaporate and the tower temperature reduced to below zero degrees centigrade. Since this tower was in service for two weeks without any restoration operation, the molecular sieve substrates and silica gel were saturated with water, or at least were nearly saturated with water. Because of the temperature below zero and a positive pressure in the tower and the water in the substrates, the gas hydrate was formed. Gas hydrates are like ice crystals and the water in hydrate could store propane 160 times its volume. The injecting nitrogen with the environment temperature created some channels in the mass and removed large amounts of propane during two days. Of course, the nitrogen pressure was about six times and it's been a factor in the hydrate stability. If the hydrate was not formed, all the propane could be evaporated and purged to the flare with the nitrogen. But within a few hours on the day of the accident, while the nitrogen purge was interrupted, adsorbent beds in which liquid propane was frozen began to melt, and at first the U-shaped part of the tube at the bottom of the tower was filled. While the volume of liquid increased, its vapor filled the space inside the tower, and due to the higher air temperature in the middle of the day, the tower pressure increased rapidly. Unfortunately, vent route on the top of the tower was not opened because of unknown reasons, possibly forgetfulness or lack of attention. The pressure inside the power increased, and as a result, it moved up in the pipe. The accumulated liquid slowly leaves the valve flange, and the pressure inside the tower goes up gradually, and the height of liquid column is reduced, and thus the outflow of liquid increased. In fact, the evaporation of liquid inside the absorbance caused pressure on the top of the tower, and since there was no way for the gas to go out, it pushed accumulated fluid in the pipe toward the valve, which was being replaced, and eventually, a fatal accident happened due to a lack of change management principles.